yesterday marked 70 years since the Schumann Declaration and this was a time when states were struggling to rebuild after the brutal destruction of the Second World War. And with the horrors of that war still fresh in the minds of so many, the core of the Declaration presented a strong determination to prevent another war. In the words of the Declaration, it said, make war between the historic rivals not merely unthinkable but materially impossible. This declaration set in place a vision for a new Europe, a Europe with cooperation at its core. And today, when we look at the aims and values of the EU, we can see the potential of this community. It is important to acknowledge and commend the great social advances made across the EU member states over the past 70 years. However, I'm deeply concerned that the EU has drifted dangerously far from its values and aims. The EU's aims within the wider world are clearly defined, and it's to contribute to peace and security, and the sustainable development of the earth, strict observance of international law to contribute to solidarity and mutual respect among peoples, free and fair trade, eradication of poverty and the protection of human rights, which of course sounds great, but the reality of the actions of the EU and its member state paints, states paint a very different picture. The military industrial complex in the EU has silently developed into one of the largest in the world, where profits by EU states is clearly taken precedent over the aims of the EU worldwide. EU policy and arms trade clearly states that member states are determined to prevent the export of military technology and equipment which might be used for internal repression or international aggression to contribute to regional instability. However, it has been clearly documented that arms and military equipment produced in Europe and sold outside of the EU has been used in brutal war crimes caused forced uh, displacement and migration. We only have to look at the Saudis and Israel as prime examples. The Saudi Arabian government is one of the biggest clients for European arms, with the EU arms purchased by the Saudis frequently ending up in war-torn regions. While the MEPs voted for a EU-wide arms embargo against the Saudis due to its horrific crimes in Yemen, it was disappointing that the vote did not compel EU member states to act it was merely symbolic. This symbolic act made little or no difference to thousands of Yemeni women, men and children killed or maimed by weapons supplied by EU governments. I have raised the crimes of apartheid Israel in the Dáil on many occasions before, but what many of us may not realise is the massive amounts of money being made by, is by EU states while arming Israel. Between 2015 and 2020, Germany exported more than one billion worth of arms to Israel. Despite countless international human rights groups documenting Israeli war crimes and acts of apartheid, the EU stays silent while EU member states made large profits selling weapons to these rogue states. We urgently need the EU to be pulled back onto the track of its original aims and values, and that's of peace, of justice, and the protection of human rights. Kermagot.